All right, so it's been a while, but I've got a new setup. It's a little bit brighter, you know, new light and stuff. But here's the leader we're working on. You know, Vegeta baby. If you don't know what he does, well, he's pretty awesome. Gives neg negatives out to self awaken, draw a card, tax a leader. He's okay on the back. The important part is he untaps two of your energy. Two unending awakenings. Three, is that all that you've got? You may notice a theme here. Let's give neg negative to everything. Things die by going to zero. Pretty easy game mechanic to take advantage of when your leader does it. Four after images. And four revenge death balls. So, let's go over our extras one more time. Negatives, 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 and just the solid negate. Okay, so that's the extra package. Pretty easy, pretty simple. All right, we're playing a red deck, so, you know, four of that guy, four combo. I mean, I might switch these out for one of the newer ones, zero ten, sparking five's not bad, but it's a super combo. You can use whatever you want for him. This guy is interesting. If you need him, he's really good. If not, well, let's just say he's there to get rid of barrier guys that don't really die when you want them to with negatives, so he's an okay answer for that. Here, oh, that's my voice. My something. Oh, well. This is, you know, burst attacks on Gohan. Sorry, there you can see the name. He does critical and draws extra cards because your hand's going to get kind of low. But he's, you know what, we're going to keep him set to the side because he's, he's another card that we're going to go over here in a second. Here's Miraculous Revival Gohan. Uh, he came out set too, so if you don't know what he does, just, just look him up. Miraculous, sorry. Miraculous Revival Son Gohan. You might know what's coming next. I'm just kidding. Scientist Fu. Think overwhelm finishers. Frieza, he's actually won me quite a few games. Just turn five, you drop him. All right, surprise attack Majin Buu. He is your turn three play, if you can. Now, you don't want to play him turn three if you don't have one of these in hand. Now, if you do have one of these in hand, perfect. If not, it's okay. As long as you have Oh, sorry, this is Dawn of the Rampage. He gives your booze that he's under barrier. Pretty, pretty strong. Or you can have him in hand. You just need one of the two in opening hand before you play your three drop boo. Because the three drop boo searches for either one of them. Whichever one you don't have in hand, boo searches. So, your turn three, you're gonna wanna be at five life. You're gonna play the three drop give one of his guys negative five, untap two energy, evolve into him, place the blue boo underneath him. Remember, this is turn three. You may be tapped out, but you now have an awakened evil Majin Buu with barrier. You can grab one of him, or one of him depending on the situation. If they have no creatures out and your hand is probably low at that point, you'll play him under to get the critical and draw effects. Now, let's say you have both in hand. Just use both of them. Just fail to find on the first one, drop the second one, and grab your seven drop. You're gonna play four of these. So, he's your, your win condition because turn three, he's gonna take out. If they got dudes on play, you swing because of this guy. He's gonna ping them two, for two damage each. You know, you're usually gonna be going in for a pretty early kill or just start clean, clearing their board. They can't keep dudes in play like barrier blockers that are 5Ks, cause they'll get destroyed by this guy. And they're gonna have to throw an extra 15K power than if they if you were attacking their leader for the same damage. So, well, that's the deck. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the question comments if you have any questions. All right, don't forget to, uh, you know, like, subscribe, share maybe, I don't know. Is this game still alive? I don't know.